Yeah, let me show you the link documents feature. So for example, I have two doc types here. So one is called author. It stores the information about author of a book. And then I have a book doc type basically that stores list of books and it is a doc type uh, with author description as been. So author is a link field. So each book is like assuming it only has one author uh, is linked to a author document, right? So in case uh, JK Rowling. So that's like usual way of jumping from like a doc type to any doc type that is linked to it. But now I want the other way around. So I want to jump from here, from the author document to all the books that are linked, right? The keyword here is linked to this particular author. So how do I do that? So I will jump into the doc type form. So I did doc type. You can directly go to doc type list and edit as well. And I will scroll down to the link document section. And in here, what I can do is I can link. So the end result will be something like this. So basically this is the connections view and this shows. So let me just add it here and like show you. Uh, I want to link book. So book is here and the field name. So this is the field name by which uh, the link field name in the book itself in the book doc type. So in book, this doc type is linked in the author field, right? So this is the name of the field and I hit save. Now I can go to author list and when I go here, boom. So I have this link and when I click this, it will show me all the books that I have author set to this particular author linked, right? And even better, I can click on add button and directly add a book for this author. So it auto populates this. I can even see the count of this, right? So it's pretty useful feature. You can find it in doc type list as well. So if you go to any doc type, so any doc type, you will find like the connected stuff, right? So if you go to webhook and see, uh, there is a doc type field, right? So this is how this is implemented. Now you also know it, like it makes it easier for people to navigate around and it's like a good UI UX. So do consider using it in your Frappe apps. Goodbye.